Hi everybody, how's it going today? Okay, I am live at my shop. I'm doing my nails because I don't know if maybe few of you guys knows about um I have a surgery, I have a back surgery that was done exactly 13 days ago and um 12 days, no, 13 days ago. And um Today, I'm doing actually my nails because I have to remove all my nail polish and my gel for this surgery. And I want to put it back. My nails actually are pretty strong, pretty good. This is just my real length. I just apply a little bit coat uh, uh, indigo uh, protein base on my nails. Like I say, I'm alive in my shop. I don't know what's going to happen if somebody walk in. And plus, I have uh, my little dog with me today, Lily. Yes, you just get out from a beautiful bath, and she's so nice and clean, and she's always nice, but she smells really good today. Really? Right? 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 Okay, like I say, um, I'm doing my nails, guys, but Lily, quiet. I want to talk to you guys about my surgery, why I got the surgery. Um, I sit a lot all day, and plus, I am, um, I am a very stubborn when I do tattoo I do four hours five hours straight sometimes I forget to stand up and just you know make my back stretch and everything this is what I'm going to use today I'm going to use the CND shellac the color is called um harrowweed did you guys see it yes and I'm going to use this new collection that uh from new revolution it's uh, this is magical and yeti collection the color is one unicorn it's really nice and uh, i'm using the um, always from new revolution twinkle collection and the color is a 17 pink diamond and uh, they're beautiful color very pigmented and uh, for the first time i'm going to use their super top coat I buy everything yesterday i want to use like a, show you guys how it works i'm just going to remove my watch and um yeah go back to my surgery okay what i will say is um i got this problem in july my back was hurting me but it didn't end up there it it's it's like kind of i don't know if you guys ever 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 suffer with um sciatica pain i started to suffer with sciatica pain after i have my son and um I was always like, you know, a few days and after just normal. This time, the sciatica get very inflammated and got very inflammated. And plus, the pain was going down to my leg really bad, like a bad, 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 bad pain. And um, it was like a consistently 24 hours a day. This pain was going to through my legs my calf my my feet every everywhere like it was insane it was like there was no position to sleep there was no um way the pain go away like they even give me morphine to remove the like you know calm down the pain the, the morphine make me just sleep and no take away the pain because i was like just sleep maybe two three hours and after the pain was coming back it was, it was really bad I even go to my vacation in Italy and I was, and I was thinking, you know, I'm in vacation. I'm just going to pop it in this color inside the lamp and uh, use the other one. And what I was saying it was like, um, yeah, I was in vacation in Italy. I was thinking like, okay, I'm in vacation. I'm relaxing. This pain uh, probably is going to go away. That's what the doctor told me. And um, after that, like I was in Italy and the pain was worse actually. I ended up in the hospital. They gave me some cortisone shot and um, they tried to take care of what is possible the the pain with uh, like a um, painkiller and everything. I I swear guys, nothing was working. I mean nothing, literally nothing. I was just in a pain daily. The cortisone actually make it a little bit better, but it was only like a few days, like a three four days, and after it just the pain come back. It was something that I cannot cannot take. The doctor, where I go, he told me, "Is it just a sciatica? You you have to work like a true. I will go away. You're young. I'm 42 years old. It's 95 percent the cases. This one's go away by by itself. Only five percent the case. You need a surgery." It was like a, and he's like a, 
I don't think you need a surgery because you're young and blah, blah, blah. My pain was localized, like it was in the area LS4, LS5. And, uh, and everybody was telling me, is it just a pinch nerve? Is it just a pinch nerve? It's going to go away. It's going to go away. And, you know, you kind of believe people. I don't know what to say. You're like, it's okay. It's just going to go away. Just wait for it, you know? When I came back from my vacation in August, uh, it was like a, a beginning of September, the pain come back and come back really bad. There, I go back to the doctor. And I'm telling you guys, it's like, I know, I was just going to the doctor and that's it. I did it one month uh, acupuncture. I did it one month of massage, chiropractic, osteopathic. I did it cupping. I did it, like, you name it, I did everything. And I was like, uh, Okay, this is not going well. There the doctor told me to do a um, CAT scan. Um, and I did the CAT scan and it came out that uh, my hernia was very um, big. Like uh, the disc between LS4 and S5 was so big that the hernia came out and it was actually pushing my nerve. And it was compressing my nerve from 95%. Like uh, it, it was uh, something that... Uh, like there was like a no way that hernia go back herself and don't damage my nerve. There I meet a um, neurosurgeon and he asked me to do an uh, MRI. And I did the MRI and it, there the MRI come out that I need a surgery right away because my nerve that was actually pinching in the middle was starting to go, um, I don't remember the word, but it's like a, you starting losing your sensibility and your feet. You starting losing your... Uh, um, you know, go to the washroom, your bladder, and even like the sensibility in the middle of your legs. Like I, I cannot have enough strength to pull up my feet, even to put like a socks on it. It was like, it, this one happened only on the left leg, my right leg. What happened? After that, uh, I meet this doctor. I am in Toronto. I, I am honest. I was a Sunnybrook hospital. And I meet this doctor, Dr. Yang Victor, an amazing, amazing neurosurgeon. He meet me and uh, he say, no, um, I never see somebody so young get uh, so much damage on the back. And uh, he asked me if I fell, if I have like an, a car accident. No, guys, I never fell, never have car accident. I felt, thank God. But the doctor say, I am sorry that you need a surgery. Like you really need a surgery because the situation here it's not going well. It's going wor It's getting worse. And um, there, we scheduled my surgery because I was in the hospital before, and um, and they keep me in the room for three days doing freaking nothing. I left the hospital. I, I'm honest. And uh, after that, we scheduled the surgery. It was on the 15th of November, and uh, when I I got there, I I. I take it for one month, this uh, medication is called Lyrica, that I actually, um, it's a pain relief for the sciatica, but what it did it to me, it actually, it make, it make the pain go away, but I end up going to the washroom very often, like even 20 times a day, and I start to realize that I, I start to losing like a, my control over my bladder, like a... You know when you have to go to the washroom, but you have like at a certain time, you go to the washroom, you lay down, you're a woman, and you do your business. I sometimes end up in the washroom and don't have the time to put down my underwear that I already, like a, literally not just two drops, more, more than two drops was already in my in my underwear. At, at that point, I started using it like a pad because it was embarrassing and um there, I figure out, like, you know, I need a surgery. Now, I use the magnetic one. Sorry, guys, we go from one word to another one. The new magnetic. And what I'm going to do, it, I'm going to use the, this one. That is the actually magnetic, magnetic. I don't know. Cut eyes, magnetic. And I'm going to just do this on top. And this is what it does. Give me, like, a, the cut eye, you know looking but i would like maybe in the middle i don't know why i really like it in the middle see how i look in the middle yeah i like it more in the middle i wanted to have this kind of it's nice put it back the actually 
pink diamond on this one because I want to have my little cat on this one. Yeah, like I said before, this one very high pigmented. Okay, we're going from one argument to another one. Okay, going back to my surgery. I got the surgery, let's say, on the November 15 um, in the morning. It was like a 6 o'clock in the morning. I got to the hospital. And after that, I I was a, put in, I was the first one. And um, around maybe 8.30, almost 9 o'clock, they gave me anesthetic, put me to sleep. 11 o'clock, my family was out waiting for me, and I was out. Now... I don't know because maybe I'm young and uh, I'm thinking because I'm young. I wake up really well, no problem, no issue with the anesthetic. It was, it was fantastic. Uh, they make me walk after one hour. And if you guys can check my old video, you can see like after four hours, I was like actually pretty good talking with um, everybody. I even did like a YouTube live video. And um, Yes, I I stand up, go to the washroom, and uh, around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, they send me home. They gave me some medication, like a really heavy medication, that I am honest, I didn't take nothing, didn't take no morphine, nothing. I just bring it home with me, but I put it in the garbage. And, um, and the next day, I was up for like a, maybe an hour. I stand up, I go around the house, I... Did a few stuff on the internet, check my website. And the third day, I, I think I did like another video the second day. I don't remember for sure, but probably, yes, I did a second video. A third day, I didn't do a video. Today is my 13 days after the surgery. And I feel really, really good. Like uh, the only problem I have that was actually after the surgery, I, when I stand up to go to the washroom, I feel uh, my glute, um, left glute pain. And I, 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 I I asked the doctor why I have this pain. And the doctor said, it's normal because we free the muscle, sorry, the nerves, and now the nervous is inflammated. And that was, okay, was an answer for me. I go back home and yesterday, I'm honest. Okay, this is the result. I'm going to put top coat on it and do the design. And um, and I'm using the new top coat, super top coat. Uh, when I go back home, uh, sorry, when I... When I feel this, I was feeling this pain yesterday. I go to my family doctor and I ask for um, the lyrica again to take care of this actually kind of inflammated muscle that I have right now. I know that lyrica it's not actually an anti-inflammatory. It's a, a kind of painkiller, but it's a different painkiller from like a, the morphine or Advil. It's a little bit different. I think it relaxes the muscle. I think that that's what the doctor told me. It's relaxing the muscle. And um, right now, I'm a back on a Lyrica pills just because I don't have the same pain like a before, but I have like a, some kind of pain in the morning when I wake up on my left legs, like more most of my left glute. And I, I understand that my nerves was compressed for four months, almost five. And uh, the doctor explained me and kind of, little child explained to people that it's like you have a couch, a heavy couch on top of a carpet. And after like maybe a few days or a few years or a few months, you remove this couch and the carpet keep it, they actually shape uh, the feet of the couch. You know what I mean? And uh, what happened is that the couch, uh, the couch is gone, but the carpet, I have to go back at, like, you know, the shape have to go away, like the, the, the formula that is on the carpet. I don't know if I'm explaining right right now, but just to give you an idea how the situation was with my nerve. It was so damaged that right now my nerves, it's going back to the re regular shape it was before. Because the surgery, I didn't talk much about the surgery. The surgery was done in a microdiscectomy. And uh, it's actually a little cut, I'm telling you, like a maybe three, three inch three inch half and uh, there is no stitch outside there's only stitch inside actually after i put, post up this video i'm gonna add the picture on my scar on the back it will be a little bit graphic for you guys if you don't like to see it don't watch it and is um it is actually healing pretty good the stitch are inside and they are the this the they're just dissolve in my 
in my system and the outside was no stitch it was just a bandage and um yeah they just going inside with this little microscope and they shaved the two bones to free the nerves and after the doctor just cut out the hernia now about my hernia okay i'm thinking this say it is no cleaning yeah it is no cleaning okay we have this right now i'm just gonna do some little design and i'm gonna add it like a this little cat here because I really like, like it by yesterday. This one, I think, is really cute. And I'm gonna add it this little lips on um, my phone like this, just to show you guys. Okay, um, back to my surgery. Yes, I was, I was just uh, very nervous about because everybody tell me don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't touch your back, don't touch your back. But the option for my actually back were like a keeping the hernia and hoping that the hernia will go away and don't burst because that's what the doctor told me your hernia can burst and you end up in a wheelchair or you end up with a diaper at 42 years old that were the option that the doctor gave me it's like you may be lucky and the hernia goes away by yourself or I'm using a credit card now. Or you're not lucky and your hernia can burst and you have to run to the hospital or we have to give you like a an emergency surgery to actually remove your hernia and when it's damaged like that there is no way to figure out if it's the nerves or if it's just uh, is it the nerves go back normal because i read a lot about this before i get the surgery and there was a lot of people that got, end up with damaged nerves now the nerves get damaged because it's yeah it can be for the surgery if you you know I don't know, you're not lucky, you could say maybe I'm a lucky person, or your nerve your nerves was already so damaged that the neurosurgeon cannot do that much. You know what? Removing the problem doesn't make the nerve go back normal. Now I'm taking, like I say, I'm taking the lyrica and I'm taking uh this um, this vitamin that's called uh collagen 360. And they're really, really good because they have like a collagen inside and they have, uh, um, they kind of, re, re, I don't know, help the tissue to um, go back at their normal state. I don't know. It, I'm saying that I'm using this stuff at this pills and it's really good. I feel really good. About the pain, uh, like I say, I didn't take no medication at all. Like a, no, no even Advil, nothing. I didn't take no painkiller, no muscle relaxer. I'm taking the Lyrica right now because I need the Lyrica to make the the pain on my legs go away uh, for, uh, for the sciatica that is it's compromised. But other than that, I feel great really good like i suggest you guy if you have a, this kind of problem really go through with uh, um with your doctor and figure out what is the problem because my doctor was keeping telling me oh you're too young you don't need a surgery you're too young you don't need a surgery and i end up getting an emergency surgery because my back was a really 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 bad now again my type of work i'm sitting all day and with tattoo and nails and everything for that i cannot tell you guys if it, the posture my way to sit was actually damaging my back um i don't know the doctor think that i fell i don't remember i think i would remember if i fell and i i i, I hurt my back but and nobody can tell for a long that hernia was on my on my back like uh, because the doctors say you can have an hernia you don't have the actually um feeling or uh, you know no symptom nothing um it's just when the hernia get very very um inflamed or very very out and pushing your nerves you feel it on the sciatic nerve now like like i say guys take care of yourself because something that is taking time like mine even if um, it take me freaking five months to figure out what was what was wrong with me, uh, but I did it. And I'm telling you guys, everybody around me were telling me, "Don't do it! Don't do it! Let it do exercise, do this." 
And I'm telling you guys, I do yoga. No, not that much like I used to do it before. And I probably now after the doctor gave me the okay, I will come back and I will go back to yoga class. But uh, I am very flexible person. And I don't know how this happened to me. I cannot tell. It just happened. And I'm glad that I take care. Okay, my little kitty here and my little kiss here. I'm just going to hide a little bit here because I don't like wind. I'm using just a clear acrylic to just, you know, seal all this one. Like this doesn't get stuck in my socks, my hair. And this it is. That's it. I want to just tell you guys, share you my my surgery recovery. And again, it was great. Out there, guys, if somebody suffer with hernia problem or a back problem, just go check yourself. Don't wait to think like, oh, no, it's, this is going to go away. It can be something stupid. It can be something so serious that you end up figuring out that when it's too late. Okay. Now, about this and this, I'm probably going to have some crystal on the top because I like my nails to be sparkly. This one, usually this hand is not that sparkly. I'm just going to do regular color. This is the hand I make beautiful and this is the hand I'm not doing. It. <laughs> but, um, yep. Yeah. I uh, just want to tell you guys, whatever question you have about the surgery, whatever question you have about my recovery, just text, text me, sorry. Put a message under here in the box and I will answer to you guys on my best, you know, uh, knowledge. My knowledge right now is about patient. I get it through to the... Sorry, guys. I was cut it out. I don't know why I was cut it out. <laughs> Something happened. Okay. Back to my nails. Yes. What I was saying is when I had some crystal around this area and this area, uh, this is dry, actually, and I'm going to have a little bit of... Uh, top coat just to make it a part that it's very it's not shiny like shiny uh this one will be my nails for this month and uh, again like i say you guys have question just text me uh sorry text me put a message here in the box under and i will answer to you guys um uh, my little lily is sleeping lily are you sleeping okay we say bye to everybody bye bye guys